What's up everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. Today, we're hopefully going to be getting to the next city. I mean, it, it's a long way, but I think we can actually do that. Um, considering we did, like, the Pokemon Tower in such a short time, so... I'm hoping we can do this whole three routes, or four, actually. Um, starting off, I'm gonna go to this girl. She gives you a TM27, which actually contains Return. And I'm actually gonna be teaching that to Hermes right away, because it's an awesome TM, and he can make really good work of it, so... And there we go, I, uh, got rid of Fury Attack for it, so that's about everything there is to do here. Now let's head to over here, which is Route 12. Um, we could have previously accessed this route, however, I skipped it for a while. I am not really sure why, but yeah, there's a lot of fishermen here, a lot of water Pokemon. And, uh, Rive is probably gonna be getting a lot of training sprout as well, but I'm just gonna try to use Subliminal as much as, as much as I can for training's sake. Alright, so that trainer had two Goldines and a Poliwag. Um, yeah, all of these trainers that you're gonna be seeing around here are mostly going to have fish kind of Pokemon. Um, they could have general water types like Poliwag as you saw, but mostly fish because they do like fishing, and fish are what you fish for, so that's awesome. Um, here's another fisherman guy, let's see what he's got. A tentacle, great. Alright, so that guy had a tentacle and a goldine, and the reason I said tentacle was great is just because it's half poison type, so, uh, Psychic is actually super effective against poison. Um, at level 29, he's gonna try to learn meditate, I'm not a meditate person, so... I'm not gonna teach it to him, and that was Fisherman, Fisherman Chip. That's a great name, Chip. Yeah, that's actually a pretty cool name. Back in Shiny Gold X, there was a, an old guy there that gave you a Pokemon. I really forgot what exactly it was, but it was pretty creepy, so... Yeah, just kind of remembering back to the good old days when we played Hacks and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna do Hacks someday again. Just spoilers, but yes, I will do Hacks someday again. Let's take care of this Golding. And there it goes, Fisherman Hank. So yeah, um... Wait, what did he what did he say? Touching something? I I don't know. These guys are weird, but yes. Someday I will be redoing hacks, or not redoing the same ones I've already done, but just doing Pokemon hacks again, or a let's play of a uh, of a hack. I don't know. Just a little spoiler for you guys. I mean, there's a lot of hacks, so you really don't know which one I'm doing. Now let's fight this fisherman Elliot. So this guy actually had most of the water types in Fire Red and Leaf Green. He had a horsey, a polywag, a shelter, and a goldine. So he had a, a few version of exclusives. Um, he's still missing a lot, though. I mean, there are way too many water Pokemon in, in Pokemon in general. And I know I've said this like a million times, but yes, there are way too many uh, water Pokemon. Seriously, if we win, I'll marry you? Are you kidding me? So if you lose, then you just won't marry him. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind as I kick your ass. Looks like someone isn't getting married today. Alright, so, um, yeah, uh, Return, I got to test it out. Alright, so after you've gotten the Poke Flute from, uh, Mr. Fuji, you can go ahead and talk to this big American guy, and use the Poke Flute on him. And it plays that little noise, and it'll reveal that it is Snorlax, and it wakes up and it attacks in a grumpy rage. Now, yes, you can catch this Snorlax. I'm probably going to skip ahead and catch it, so... Be right back as I attempt to catch this thing. Okay, finally caught myself Snorlax. God, I sh I'm not kidding. That actually took like three minutes with super speed, so... And no, I'm not giving it a nickname. I'm not using it on my team or anything. Just wanted to catch it. Now, coming over on this house, there's definitely something you're going to want to grab here. This is the Fishing Guru's brother, and he will give you... The Super Rod. Yes, you actually get the Super Rod earlier than the Good Rod. I do believe you can get the good rod by now, but I don't know, I for some reason got the super rod earlier. I guess they intended for you to go through the Celadon route. Yes, there is a Snorlax in Celadon. You can take on that one if you choose to do so, but I chose to take on this one, so I'm coming on this route. But they both lead to the same city, so it really doesn't matter. And now, here is a rocker. Now, believe it or not, I believe this is the only rocker in the game. I honestly have never seen another one. Now, yeah, that was the rocker, but honestly, I just can't remember seeing any other rockers in the game. I might go so thirst search this up later on Wikipedia, or Bulbapedia, I meant to say, and uh, check if there's anything. Yes, I did replace Chiding with Meowth, because Meowth gets pickup ability. Speaking of which, Meowth has an item, so let me pick that up. Um, yeah, Meowth have an ability that allows them to pick up items every once in a while, but yeah, I think that's actually the only rocker in the game. I'll go search it up later, and I'll probably be wrong, but yeah, let's fight Camper Justin. Ha! Justin. And Hermes is now level 35, definitely way overpowered compared to the rest of my team, but 
That was Camper Justin Game Fail. I'm not going to complicate myself too much. Here is an iron, so grab that if you want. Um, you're... Ah, you stupid person. I'm going to heal you up too. And now let's fight this fisherman over here. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about, but sure, buddy. If you want to talk about that kind of stuff, then here we go. Let's fight you and your... Seriously, Magikarp. It doesn't even get an animation. Okay, so he had two Magikarps, and they just look so big of a failure when they don't even get an animation when they come in and stuff. I don't know. That's just a huge failure. Magikarp sucks. I mean, he could have a Gyarados by now, but no. I actually don't think I have a Repel, and I don't want to risk running into Pokemon, so... Now, let me use one, and there's actually an item that a lot of people tend to miss here. It is a rare candy. So grab that. Definitely want it. And uh, let's head down here. Let's head down here, there's a couple more trainers to fight, so let's take them on. And that was Picnicker Alma. Now, Subliminal actually ran out of PP for almost everything, so now it's time to switch out and put uh, Rai up first. I haven't seen him in action in a while, so time for Rai to get a little action, and uh, yeah, we'll start with this Bird Keeper, which is actually a really good matchup for Rai, so let's take him on. A Pidgey and a, Pidgey a, Pidgey and a Pidgeotto, nothing you shouldn't be able to handle by now. Um, just pretty low level, actually, if you compare it to, like, the other trainers and stuff, or the gym leaders, or the level you should be by now, because seriously, there's a lot of training in this game, and if you fight all the trainers, I don't even think you have to off-screen train, so, and there we go, that girl actually had a lot of Pokemon, I know she had two Meowths, like a Pik Pikachu, I forgot all her Pokemon exactly, but she had a lot of Pokemon, just... Oh, I thought you would be a double battle. Great, but no, apparently not. You all suck. I really dislike how there's barely any double battles in this game. I mean, double battles... Every single battle in uh, XD and Colosseum is a double battle, so... I mean, it's not to say that all of these games should have double battles, but... Okay, so ride level 34. What I was trying to say is, I don't think all the battles should be double battle, but there should at least be more than there are in this game. Like, an Emerald has a pretty balanced amount of double and single battles, so... And they actually have a gym dedicated to the double battle, so that's pretty cool. Now this girl, pretty easy, had a, two polywags, so take care of those easily. Now there's an item that I missed. Uh, no, never mind. I actually thought I missed one, but not yet. It's actually right here, and it is a PP up. So grab that if you want, and let's fight you. My cute Pokemon wish to make your acquaintance. That's great. And there we go. She had more generic Pokemon. I mean... Yeah, this is probably pretty boring for a lot of you, but, I mean, it's just regular routes with regular generic trainers, and there's not really too much excitement going on. I believe there's a hidden item around here, so if you want to look around for that, I can't remember exactly where it is, so I won't. Um, there's, I think you can actually, no, never mind, I'm thinking of the wrong route, but, yeah, there's a route you can catch Tangela, it's like only in that route, and it's actually south of Pallet, you need surf to get there, so I'm thinking of the wrong route. That was Bird Keeper Robert. Um, over here, nothing. Over here, nothing. Nothing. I don't know. There might be hidden items, like I said, but I can't remember. I think, actually, that PP up was the only one for now. So, let's take you on more frickin' bird types. Seriously, man. More bird per- Blah. Bird catching people. I hate you, Perry. That's a pretty cool name, but you still suck. And that was Bird Keeper Perry. Now, Rai ran out of PP, so I guess it's time to use Juno now. And uh, Hermes and Rai are both level 35, Subliminal is still 30. Sprout and Juno actually fell behind, they're level 33 now, so let's take you on. And I'm not looking at anything, you're the one that looked at me. So you fail, and I win. And you're on a frickin' motorcycle. That's awesome. And that guy had three coughings, just, yeah. Um, seriously, who rides a bike, or a motorbike, out on a grassy field in the middle of nowhere? That's just pretty weird. Now, there's another trainer up here, and, um, yeah, we actually reached the next route, so we're pretty close to the end of this episode. And there we go, bug, or, bird keeper, Carter. Um, just a few more trainers left, and then we'll wrap it up for today. Uh, down here, and the final trainer for today is this guy. Lucky you. Your bird Pokemon are awesome and everything, and I'll let you finish, but... You just gotta go down because you are making this episode suck. And there we go, Birdcatcher Mitch. Um, now Juno is level 35. I'll probably be healing up off screen. Next episode will continue on with Route 14, 14 West to Fuchsia City. See you guys next time.